Hello, I'm Dr. Rick Durst. I teach theology at Golden Gate Baptist Theological Seminary. Humanity is evolving. It's interesting that the Bible says that there are four evolutions in humanity, or another way of saying it, four movements in biblical anthropology. There is essential humanity, existential humanity, ex ecclesial humanity, and eschatological humanity. Let me explain. In the first movement in the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve were able not to sin and die. Uh, they were warned, if you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, on the day you eat of it, you will die. The implication is then, if they didn't eat, they wouldn't die. So to be essentially human is not to be in sin. But they did sin. They were evicted from the garden. And so now we're in the period of existential humanity. That's why we're always asking ourselves, what has gone with, wrong with humanity? What's wrong with people? We all have a sin problem. And so existential humanity has the experience of not being able not to sin and not being able to not die. We will sin and we will die. Uh, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We're all in that same batch. We need someone, somehow, to make up the difference between us and God. And thankfully, that's come in the incarnation of the Son. And so the third uh, movement in biblical anthropology is ecclesial humanity. Now, I could have called this Christological humanity because the key is Christ. Uh, in the incarnation of God the Son, uh, we see the last Adam and the first new human. And as we, by faith and the Spirit, uh, take up the life that's in Christ, uh, we become ecclesial human beings together. And we are able not to sin, we will die. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 13 says, uh, No temptation has overtaken you, but such is common to man. But God is faithful, and He will not let you be tempted beyond your strength, but will provide a way of escape. So ecclesial humanity is tempted, but is, through faith in Christ, able to uh, escape falling into sin. So we cannot sin, we can sin, but we will die. The final movement in God's plan for humanity is eschatological humanity. Uh, so in uh, the culmination of redemption and the renewal of creation, uh, we that are uh, found faithful uh, in Christ, uh, we will not sin and we will not die. The old evangelical adage, if you're born once, you'll die twice. If you're born twice, you'll die once is still true as we understand biblical anthropology. So the next time someone says to you, I'm only human, ask them right back, well, there are four kinds of human beings. Which one are you? Thanks for listening.